Welcome back. Now, Eye to Eye is a show that really focuses on the funny side of a person. Yes, like I said, the funny side. And of course, every other thing happening in our society is too serious. The community is too serious already, so we need to unblock and unlock ourselves from this, you know, whole drama happening in the society. Now, I'm going to tell you for a fact that your favorite doctor, mm -hmm, even your lawyer, even that favorite celebrity that you truly love, and then, of course, I'm not leaving out the politicians. Let's talk about the pastors. And yes, every other personality that you know out there, you really want to see them in two boom. They're too serious. We think they stop now. Yeah, we want to see the funny side of them. We want to talk to them. We want to see their eyes. And yes, we want to relate with the happenings in the society. Now, that reminds me. I saw a very, very wonderful video during the week. And trust me, this one blew my mind. You know, say Nigerians, we know they ever take eyes. See, immediately you see, say they don't kill one animal. Oh, animal cruelty. I see for the practice I'm here. Hello, we don't really do that much here. But anyways, this one really bust me because I saw like a baboon, a monkey. Mm-hmm. Dobale, you go dobale. Oh yeah, toile, toile, you go toile. Oh yeah, do like this, do like this, you do like that. Oh yeah, do like that. You know, like this monkey really did everything so nice. And now this type, now government is supposed to look into. Mm. Now this type is supposed to carry go zoo. But not to worry, I really want you to watch this video with me and then smile with me. Don't touch your TV because I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so we saw the video together, and do, like this um, video we just saw about mm. the baboon or the monkey. Yeah. You see that Nigeria, we're trying to get into this whole animal love stuff and all this. Have you seen this happen before in any place? The stunt animal. <laughs> stunt. No, yeah, we, we we have them in the north. We have them in the north. Really, right? but yeah. it's not. People don't really pay attention to them, and then people kill most of them. It's just like the circus in America, where you have elephants throwing balls, playing balls, and you have tigers going through loops and mm -hmm. all of that. Um, I think we're not as still um, on the local, you know, yeah. you know, bit of it. But uh, it happens everywhere, it's like the circus. People pay money to see these animals. You know, it, it's appreciating nature. When you see animals doing some stuff that you rarely could see in the bush, mm -hmm. because you're not there in the jungle. Okay, Take but is this a monkey or a baboon? Because me, a, I don't even. This is a baboon. This is a baboon. Okay, this so what's the difference between baboon and monkey? Is it male and female? Ha. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Because me, I don't even know. Which one? The only thing I can just say today is monkey, they want baboon, they, they chop. chop. That's the difference. Okay, so this one now is a baboon jumping. Yeah, baboon jumping. Now you want chop. Okay, so we have Paul Sambo here. So yeah. in the scale, like in the number of 1 to 10, yeah. rate yourself. Like 1 to 5 is like humble. So 6 to 10 is like arrogant. So I want you to just describe yourself. Myself. Yeah. On the scale of 1 to 10, I would say I'm a very happy person okay. like i'm always happy i couldn't be bothered some of god's greatest I gift down yeah mm. some of god's greatest gift down answered prayers what i don't have now i don't need mm. you understand so i'm just that kind of a person i move with that philosophy in life okay. and um i know that when come comes to become mine will be given to me and if i remain happy i will live long okay. you know and i'll make other people happy too okay. so i'm mostly happy in my job you see me in location i'm always laughing happy with people and it allows me even assimilate my movies allow me in, in you know internalize my script okay. it allows me give it out because most of the most people when they come on set you the moment you come on set and you try to be 
all hooked up and all you know palmed up and also like to shop for new feeling and all of that it it's before the bef you, you you find it very difficult to get into the character okay but someone like me i just go and play with every hey what's up wow, wow. We play, 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 and the next thing, okay, we're about to shoot scene 52, and then pick up the script, and then in that joy and everything, you'll be able to transmit and give out the best. You, you know, like, before you came on the show, I yeah. really asked, like, a few people about you, oh. and I actually wanted them to tell me their own opinion, or what team they think wait about team you. Team. And then so team. far, so good, like, everybody keeps saying, or they kept saying that, yeah. for example, is a nice person, for example, this one, <laughs> for example, that one, but I, I still, they feel like, you don't get enemies for the industry as you go. I get, I just couldn't be bothered. I just, at the day now, at this day, <laughs> especially when you're doing well and when you're, you know, doing what you, you have, you know, what your gift well, you, yeah. you're doing the movie well, you're doing the job well and all of that. Some of you are, you will have enemies here and there, but I mean, who cares? You we know, need like, them, we need them. Okay, mm. now there is this um, idea that I have in my head. Uh, you know, like when I see celebrities, I try to ask, then go school. Mm. Uh, how did they, their classmates go to see them now? How they go to feel? Like, yeah. Now, which primary school did you attend? Because a lot of people would feel say, maybe, ah, fine boy. My primary school was in um, Bauchi State. It was okay. a police children's school in Bauchi. Police? Yeah. That means you'd be a lot bad. Uh, 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 no, <laughs> a lot bad training now. Yeah, a lot bad training and all of that. So it was there. And then before then, there was this one, Central Primary School at Darazo. That was the local government. It was very, very. People don't believe I, I you know, I came from that okay. environment and all of that. But okay, man, so how is that place like? Is that uh... that is a local government? It's it's quite fine. It's a beautiful place. It's beautiful. It's a it's a local government in Bauchi State on your way to Meduguri and all of that. Mm. Um, I met a lot of my colleagues. Some people like, where is you know? They, they thought yeah, like you said, came from England and mm -hmm. did all this stuff. But mm -hmm. man, like yeah, we did. So the accent, where you get them from? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a break now. And then when we come back, we are going to talk about yes, the accent and every other thing yeah. that Paul Sambo yeah. has brought into the studio. So don't touch it, and I'll be right back. <laughs> so you are welcome back to the seat. And we are talking about the accent of Paul Sambo. And we want to ask if it's actually related to the title King of the North. I mean, you give well, yourself I mean, the title where well, we don't know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, person don't give me that title. Ah, don't worry, you ask me here, give me that title. He <laughs> said I'm a title, I'm a prince of the Niger Delta. Are you serious? Now he give me the title ah, okay. because I don't know. Now later, now they come confirm Com the title or not. So we know whether now you give yourself the title. Later, I'll come be asking confirmation. Ah, no, no, this time, this, this time around, I think the people called me that. The people began. People gave me the title because of my. By works, I'm from the north. Obviously, I'm from the northeast. But you're not like the only northern actor that is there. So how come you well, are I, third king of the north? Um, people just started calling me that because they saw, you know, um, how distinct I was, yeah. in, you know, in delivering what I do. Especially in that, um, there's a, you know, the soap Sons of the Caliphate yeah. where I was the king. And then, uh, and I am the king, yeah, exactly. <laughs> king of Goa, and all of that. So that that movie serenaded a lot of people, and people began to call me King of the North, King, king of the North, and it became very good because I think I did so well that made people innately, you know, started calling me. That. All right. So before we come into your accent, I'm yeah. not gonna leave that out. <laughs> now you've been in the movie scene for a very long time, but it'd be like saying that now, now you know the other time we were talking and yeah. then you said you were calling movies that you've acted out yeah, like oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that time, what did make you still a push to see you it's, know still it's, around here? It's perseverance. My first Nollywood movie was in two thousand. Mm -hmm. Not actually my TV. My first TV appearance was in '97. Ah? Yeah, that's Crucible with Johnny Danusa and other soap operas from NTA. That means if you don't yeah. reach like 50 years, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but the actual, you know, feature film, which is Nollywood, was in 2000, Ududua, directed by uh, um, Uzu Ojuku. Mm -hmm. And um, um, Uncle Pete was there, and a lot of, you know, great men, actors were there, and all of that. So I did that 16 scene. I think I did well. I did well. I was buying, you know, amongst the guards of the king. <laughs> I was slender. Thor, the full and each thing came out and <laughs> like Aladdin, and so it was it was wonderful. Yeah. So I started that and did quite a lot. And but I knew I started with music actually. I 
believe me, you, I started with music. Music oh, was yeah. everything. We was get into the bathroom, I get, you know, this epiphany and I begin to write music and all that. I started with music, but then music wasn't paying. So, mm. um, and I tried movie and, and I was paid 3000 and I was like, wow. Like $3,000. 3000 naira. You know, that was my and first And I come down, I want to collect millions every day. So, <laughs> 3000 please, can I have a role that I want to give you 5000 I want to be present. <laughs> I don't know, you don't, you don't times million now. Yeah. So, you get, so it was, it was music in the first place. Yeah. But um, music, I was just given, given, given to music, but... I wasn't receiving, even though I was I was pleased with what I was, you know, doing. Yeah. But um, I I gave it a try in mu movies, and then boom, we started. And I was like, okay, this was this is actually paid. Okay. So let me just remain in what is paid, and then later on can still alternate and do, you know, um, yeah. the other one, and I can still meet them after all the entertainment. So and I've got a large head to carry them, so I think it's doable. So from that period to now, boom movie it is and um, what I did in the movie industry was I just stayed focused mm -hmm. I made sure that I I was I I, I was quality not quantity mm. you know I made sure that I got I stuck in that quality I kept on doing other people were rushing just to do so much so much but I was just there quality and Honestly, if I stand with you to act, you just... No, nah, you don't need to do that. <laughs> I know, like, I've been on the same set with you. It's method, yeah, yeah, I know. So, that is it. And today, you know, um, some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Mm. Then, I wanted to just boom, blow, like, you know, the gym I went to Mike was still, you know, I wanted to boom, I wanted to be like... But it, it wasn't coming then. Mm. It wasn't coming. So, I, I, I believed, okay, it was going to come. So, I kept on pushing it. Gradually and today, boom, we're there. Oh, boom, we're there. Yeah. We're there. And, and I learned through all those experiences. And I, I, to me, in my, in my analogy of life, I think life is not a circle, but a triangle. Okay. Yes, it's a triangle. You go like this, it's like this, like this, like this. So you start this way from this point, you go like this, and you meet your helper. Mm -hmm. And then you go, boom, yeah. to the top. And then when you get to the top, then you either fall on one, two things. Either you fall on the money you have or the wealth you've created or the society you've helped build. So when you're falling, I'll rather fall on the society I've helped build. Okay. Than when you fall this way and you remain this way okay. and you die. That's mm. all it's all about. So. Oh, let's not die yet. <laughs> <laughs> let's still come back there and still give them to... We no, when you come back, mm -hmm. dying is you give in. Dying is given because until you leave the space, no one comes. So when you come back, and you also give someone an opportunity to go like this and like this and come back. Okay. And so it takes you it could take you hundred years. Like me, it's gonna take me hundred and twenty-one years. And then me is gonna take me hundred and thirty-two years. Thank you very much. <laughs>